Have you ever wondered how to make a wobbly wonky background for your poster design? No? Great, then you have come to the right place because I am going to show you today. And the first thing that I did is started in InDesign and um, yeah, just created the layout. Um, the first part of the layout is of course the, the background itself. Some gradients made in Illustrator and some lines layouted on my grid. And for the for this gradient, you can just use the um, gradient mesh tool. I think it's called freeform gradient. Yes, right here, for example, or over there. And then you can add all of these stops and just combine all of all of these colors as you like. And you can do all of these, or you can do all of these posters. And when you are happy with your gradient, you can just copy and paste it and then you have a layout like this. And then the second part is of course the text. Not much about that, outline text, and then yeah, the info. And that's it for the animation, uh, for, not for the animation, for the layout of course. Then I exported all of that into PNGs and after that I imported them into After Effects. And as you can see down here in the um, layers panel, I have three of the layout layers, two text layers and one info part, then the black solid as a background and then adjustment layer, converting the profile from P3 to sRGB and that just makes the colors pop again. Then for the layout I um, added two effects, the puppet warp, uh, the puppet engine, the puppet mesh, whatever, then the Gaussian blur with a blurriness of 1000, of course dependent on your scene size or composition size. and to move all of these points, of course, I had to first create them. Um, whoops, as you can see, um, I can select them and then you can see the path, path that they take, also the influence. And then I just uh, set different keyframes for scale, rotation, position and everything, everything like this. And yeah, sometimes I left a few in between out and did not animate all of them. But um, of course for the end and for the start, I have the same. And then I just um, eased them and the final curve looks something like this for all of these. Yeah, and that's the animation for the puppet warp. And then uh, I just duplicated the whole layer and instead of the Gaussian blur, I added, uh, whoops, I'm still on the wrong layer. Mm, this one, I added radio blur and just went on the amount of 10 and centered in the middle, of course. Mm, and yeah, then the animation is just the same, just with a different kind of blur. And the last one is not animated at all by itself, but I just added a mask path and that one is animated from um, second zero to two, then um, back to the first keyframe on second four again. And because it has some feathering, you have also just um, some fading out of the lines and of course of the layout itself. And then all of them combined just make this a little um, kind of interesting layout in my, my opinion. And I think a lot of people thought so too. They really like this poster. So I got this request um, as well. And then the text layer is just split into two um, different parts. I have a right right one and a left one and then I have created uh, or I just created a mask again for this layer as well just to um, cut out the uh, thoughts ones and then the pretty ones and so I can just animate one down and one up and then after that I also rotated both layers um, around the y-axis in 3D. How did I do that? Of course, um, with the 3D option, which is this little cube. Then I added motion blur as well, just to make the um, fast path, um, the fast movement here a little bit slow. No, not slower, of course, uh, smoother is what I wanted to say. Yeah, <laughs> and then that's the final animation. Um, just everything that is needed. 
the info is not animated um, the adjustment layer of course is also not animated and then you have your final poster design and it looks like this for example um yeah just feel free to let me know what you think about this if this is helpful if you have any other suggestions and anything that you want to throw at me just do it down in the comments below um yeah and i'm happy to see you in the next time if you like so um until then and goodbye